Welcome to Agile and AddonsModules.com. Agile and AddonsModules.com are developers of a wide range of modules and add-ons for the PrestaShop shopping cart system. Welcome to part two of this tutorial. In the first video, we covered the module configuration and basic setup of transaction and commission fees. In part two, we will cover the actual use of the module features. We begin this tutorial where we left off in part one, having already created transaction and commission fee records. We are now logged into the back office and are at the dashboard screen. To begin, hover over or click on the Customers tab, then click on the Account History option. This screen displays a list of all commission or transaction fee-based transactions that have taken place in the store. When a seller pays the store a transaction or commission fee, or the store pays the seller, a record of that transaction will be automatically created and listed here if the transfer of funds took place within the store for instance through PayPal. If, however, the seller pays the store owner or the store owner pays the seller by check or by other means outside the store's payment interface, a manual entry may be made here. This is done by clicking on the Add Offline Payment Record button shown here. In this case, the seller is chosen from the drop-down list, then you must choose whether the store paid the seller or the seller paid the store, then enter the amount, and finally the transaction ID. Then click the Save button. For our tutorial demonstration, you can see that a customer has purchased a product from our test seller in the store. The line item for this purchase shows the seller ID, the seller name, the order ID, the transaction type, the total sales amount, the transaction fee being charged to the seller by the store, the commission fee being charged to the seller by the store, the deduction amount, if any, the seller income for this sale after any transaction or commission fees, the debit credit amount, and the seller's current balance within the store. Next, we hover over or click on the Customers tab, then click on the Account Balance option. This screen displays the current account balances for each seller. This list contains the seller ID, the seller name, and the seller's current balance. For our tutorial demonstration, you can see in this line item that after a customer purchased a product from our test seller in the store and the transaction was complete, and the total calculations have been completed for transaction and commission fees, then a final amount owed is shown here. The line item for this purchase will show the amount owed as either a positive or negative number. A negative amount means the seller owes the store owner this amount, and a positive amount means the store owner owes the seller. Whether the store owner will be paying the seller or the seller will be paying the store owner is generally determined by the setting in the Multiple Seller Module Configuration screen for Payment Collection Method or who collects the money for a sale. If the store collects the money from a sale, then the store owner will be paying the seller any amounts owed. If the seller collects the money from a sale, then the seller will be paying the store owner any commissions or transaction fees owed. In our case, the store collects money, and this is the amount that the store owner owes the seller. Notice that it's a positive number. The store owner can pay the seller very easily at any time by simply clicking on the icon with the dollar symbol to the right of the amount. Currently, PayPal is the only option for paying in this way. In the future, this module will offer other payment methods. 
For the case above, this screenshot of the seller's account history in their My Seller Account section shows what sellers will see from their perspective. If, however, the multiple seller module is set to Seller Collects Funds, then the seller will be responsible for paying the store owner and the amount shown here will be a negative number. Though we have shown you how to work with account history and account balances as the store owner or administrator, the back office options for the seller are nearly identical. Here you can see the account history in the back office when logged in as a seller. And here you can see the account summary which shows the seller's current balance. Notice that the seller also has the option to pay the store owner by clicking on the button with the dollar sign. This concludes the tutorial for the Agile Seller Commission module. For more information, please see the documentation page in the support section of our website. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. And thank you for choosing Agile and AddonsModules.com.